Can you talk? Ardo asked if I saw a way through that minefield Titan set up. But no matter what path we took, we'd lose the fleet. I know it. So the commander took Ardo's second choice. We're heading into the Ringali Nebula. No long distance comms, sensors are almost dark. It's a gamble, but it's better than no chance at all. When those missiles hit us back at the dockyards, I thought the Temperance was done for. Full shields, and they still almost tore us apart. But we got Teresa and Titan Squadron to chase us, instead of destroying Nadiri for good. That's what matters. Our next steps are unclear, like walking into fog. Better get to the briefing room. Let me speak plainly, Vanguard Squadron. We're in trouble. We have the Overseer behind us, and Imperial reinforcements moving to cut us off. There's no way we'll fend them off. We need to send a distress call to our allies in the New Republic and hope they can reach us in time. The problem is, we're wounded, outnumbered, and the Ringali Nebula is already disrupting our long-distance communications. And luckily, General Sindula has located an old broadcast hub that once orbited a nearby moon called Galatan. If we restore the Galatan broadcast hub, we can send a distress signal to New Republic forces outside the nebula. Chief Mechanic Zarelda Sage will lead a repair team to do just that. She'll also locate communication satellites in the area to boost our distress signal. The more active comsats we have, the stronger our transmission will be. Teresa surely knows this too. We can suffer minor losses with the comsats. The more we have working, the faster we can signal Chandrilla for help. If the Empire's fighters must not destroy the broadcast hub, we lose that. We won't survive. Keep Zerelda and the Comsat safe. I'll call for aid as soon as you get the signal strength high enough. From there, all we can do is wait and hope. When I left the Empire, I tried to leave behind their views on morality and certainty. The core of Imperial doctrine is being certain that what you're doing is right. Doubt is seen as disloyalty. Now I understand that you have to look at your decisions with a clear heart and ask what more you could do, should do. For those who lead, doubt is necessary. The Starhawk Project represents hope for an entire galaxy. It's bigger than any of us. I know you'd rather be defending the Starhawk, but I promise that reactivating the broadcast hub is the best thing you can do to ensure the project's survival. Good luck. I know you won't let me down. This will work. Vanguard Squadron has handled dangerous assignments before, and performed brilliantly. A deadly nebula on one side, and a crumbling moon on the other. That gives us a slim margin of error. It's this, or we come up with something more drastic. You know me, Ardo. There's always another way. Trust me, General, I'm aware. I'm just letting you know that my crew is feeling the strain. Noted. But I trust my people, you included, to make this happen. Sorry, not now. You know, after Endor, I wasn't sure about staying with the New Republic. I'd fought the good fight, even shaken that death mark. I didn't see the point in going legit, so to speak. Figured I'd cash out, then get back to doing what I do best. It was Grace who changed my mind. The day I was set to leave, she pulled me aside and told me something I'll never forget. She said, I'll miss you, Frisk. And back home on Dosh, my clan and I never got along. You're too loud, Ferrisk. 
Why don't you like hunting, Ferris? <sighs> as soon as I could fly, I left. Made my own way. On my own. Until I met Vanguard. The only thing better than pulling one over on the Empire was flying with my Vanguard buddies. It had never occurred to me they felt the same way. Uh, the point I'm trying to make is... Whether it's a life or death mission or just helping a Trandoshan feel at home, we make it work. So yeah, things look bleak. But when Vanguard flies together, there's nothing we can't do. Especially with you around. And if we fail, we fail together. And no one will ever know because we'll be dead. <laughs> now that's a win in my book. <sighs> Ready to go when you are. Listen, I know things seem tough, but we've stared down death more times than I can count. Stranded in a nebula? That's nothing. We survived the Xavian Abyss. Hunted down by an Imperial fleet? So what? If they could stop us, they would have done it by now. This is war. Everything we face is gonna be tough. That's why the New Republic entrusted this mission to us. To Vanguard Squadron. No matter how hard it gets, how hopeless it seems, or how tired we feel, Vanguard, don't get in. Now let's go get them. You're in a U-Wing, which is great news for me. I'll need all the support I can get out there. All these here's on the Temperance. I've never deployed on a mission. Reminder, I just fixed up what came back. I might be nervous. Scared, even. But I've seen what you and Vanguard can accomplish together. I'm ready. I won't let you down out there. U-Wings keep the squadron flying. This is a support fighter specializing in disabling enemy fighters and empowering the squadron. Okay, Vanguard. The broadcast hub is close. I hope it's still in one piece. Look what the nebula's done to that moon. I dread what it could do to our ships. Could be worse. We could be back in the Xavian Abyss. Or dead in the minefield. See? Zorelda gets it. our broadcast hub. Beginning docking procedure. I'll have this old relic up and running in no time. Well, let's get this done before the Empire notices we're out here. I'm shaking in my boots. You're not nervous. Keo, I've seen Vanguard Squadron fly countless missions. What am I supposed to be worried about? Quick, 
We have ties headed our way. I think the Empire has figured out what we're up to. A tactical shield. Hard to work when I'm getting shot. for you, pal. That's the last of the ties. They'll be back with friends, no doubt. Good looking out, team. When you work together, it really is a sight to behold. You got that right. What's the situation, Zerelda? to strengthen our signal. Then I can broadcast our distress call to the New Republic. Gotcha. We'll keep the Empire away from the commsats. Exactly. Because if we lose them all, we lose everything. You heard her. Keep the Empire off our commsats. More ties headed our way. Shield? They sent TIE Bombers. Ah, that's not good. Fire on that target! You're okay. Oof, good looking out. Let's get the cops at one. Taking out your target. on 
me? You're safe now. Thanks. That was too close. Enemy reinforcements inbound. Enemy interceptors incoming. See that? Shoot it. Target destroyed. Jamming ship destroyed. The ties are pulling back. <laughs> Their reinforcements are running scared. Looks like our work here is done. Tactical shield deployed. Yes! Signals back at full strength. Ready when you are, Commander Javes. Attention. This is Commander Javes calling from the Ringali Nebula, requesting emergency assistance. Thanks, Zerelda. We couldn't have done it without you. You're damn right. Here I am. Commander Javes, we're regrouping with Zerelda and heading back to you. Okay. The Temperance is headed to the far side of the moon. We'll meet you there. Commander, where's the Starhawk? He was more badly damaged than we thought. General Sindula has evacuated all personnel to the Temperance. We can't abandon it. We can lose our Starhawk prototype, but not the people who built it. You're gonna help them escape. How, boss? The Temperance's hyperdrive is busted. They're working on it, but don't worry. I'll buy you enough time. Years ago, the Rebellion welcomed me. Today, I feel honored to join the fight. Sir, you can't. Have faith, Kyo. Besides, if there's one person who can keep Jerissa's attention, it's me. I need you to lead our defenders. The future of Project Starhawk and maybe the New Republic itself is in your hands. All due respect, sir. You won't last a second out there alone. to you. I've been able to call in some help. Commander James, this is Anvil Squadron. 
We got your message. We're here to help. Good luck, Vanguard. And may the force be with you.